Why then would Rajat gravitate to it? He has a big Charlie Chaplin hangover. <laughs> Just imagine one day you come back home and you find your papa there and the same day your mama married you wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to the channel What The Reaction. My name is Melody and today we have a pretty special video. Um, it is so different from what I'm used to. It is the whole movie, everybody. Um, we, I mean, I was sent this video by uh, Movie Saints and they told me that I can decide if I want to watch the whole thing or if I don't want to and I'm not interested and I don't like it, I can actually like stop it. Yeah, I don't know how this will turn out. Uh, I'm not too sure if I will like it. Um, the title of the movie is called Clowning with Shakespeare. And I do have, ooh, did you see that mosquito? It just flew in front of my screen. <laughs> um, anyways, I do have a connection with Shakespeare in a way because um, I have a tattoo here. It says, to thine own self be true. And it's from Hamlet and it's written by Shakespeare. So, yeah, there is, I do have a theater background too. I used to perform in theater a lot in college and high school. So, I am curious how this will pan out. I have no idea what this movie is about. I hope it's not boring because <laughs> sometimes theater can be a little bit dry. Um, but yeah, um, you know what? what? I'm gonna try to have like a, a process of doing this moving forward if I were to react to more movies in future. I'm gonna have a popcorn with me because come on, movies and popcorn, that's a must. So I'm gonna feature like different flavors each time. So today we have this really special flavor. It's called Spicy Cuttlefish. Um, this is a brand from Malaysia uh, where, where I'm from and it's really popular that a lot of people actually go buy bulks of this popcorn brand to go home and they have many crazy flavors. So I'm going to be tasting the spicy cuttlefish for this movie and I'm going to have just plain old water with my Harry Potter uh, water bot thing, bottle thing, I don't know. Anyways, without further ado, let's start the movie. Let's see if this works. It's my first time. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The performance will start in five minutes. Yes, I have my popcorn. <laughs> this is mostly for the dagger people. Don't pick up any dagger. Specify your dagger. What if I'm lost and there's no dagger and that's the only dagger in That is why. If you do that, if everybody does that, then it wouldn't be lost. If you're picking up anybody's dagger, mm -hmm. then you will be, all of us would be lost. Okay. It makes sense. So, um, what happens to my dagger? So, this is so you cool. It's, like, it's a back, like the backstage scene. There's no place like the backstage to understand what theater is truly about. Mm hmm I agree. An art form that celebrates life with all her virtues and vices. The world will agree that no one exemplifies this better than Shakespeare. His plays often deriving drama from the symbiosis between comedy and tragedy. Rajat Kapoor saw an opportunity to layer Shakespeare's paradoxical stories with the universally popular Red Nose. Mm. Comedy and tragedy, which is a clown. Theatre got a new language when his troupe cinematograph productions dared to blend the reverence of clowning with the depths of Shakespeare. Wow, I get it now. Did curious minds wander these depths? How far can they go? And where does that take us? I love it. Shakespeare does do a lot of trage tragedy and comedy at the same time, which clowns do. The world's a stage. And men and women 
Why then would judges gravitate to it? He has a big Charlie Chaplin hangover. <laughs> With less words and more actions, he could now reinterpret and simplify text-heavy classics mm -hmm. like that of Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. Thus was born the first adaptation, Hamlet, Hamlet. the Clown Prince. Hamlet, my tattoo. It's an unbeaded garden that grows to see. Whatever that means. Really it's not easy. Just imagine one day you come back home and you find your father there, and the same day your mama married your uncle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. I'll tell you something. I, I think I'm doing Shakespeare because I don't understand Shakespeare. And I want to understand mm -hmm. Shakespeare. If I read Shakespeare, I would never understand it. Mm -hmm. You know? If I read it ten times, I still won't understand it. The only way for me to understand it is to do it. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. We don't know what the scene is, but um, make sure you clown. Uh, you use Shakespearean text. You also go away from the text and use gibberish. Uh, have an accent. And um, be scary and funny and poetic. And it will be like... I can... Barely do even one of those things. Be everything, pretty much. <laughs> and that's how, bit by bit, piece by piece, uh, things come together. For about 10 days before that, I was thinking Jim is going to be better. But then you know, it's magic. What the You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You hear me now? Yeah, that, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> Don't be fooled by our appearance. You're actually the producers of the play. Oh! Yeah. Kind of fell into the roles, you know. Marijuana. Marijuana means cigarette. In Spanish. No. Like Julio's birth was a very dark and twisted and dangerous play. Huh? It's it's so dangerous that we cannot even name uh, the play what it is. I know the name, but we cannot say the name because you know it's it's a uh, it's a uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, exceptional as a theatre person, exceptional. Uh, I don't think I know many other people who have this kind of grace as a theatre person. And that's what he brings to it. His calmness, his, his generosity, his warmth. There's a flow I'm to really it. Lucky to have it flows like so well. And, and we're also friends. So I, you! You look like the Kardashians! <laughs> <laughs> and so in the rehearsals, of that play, we started, we discovered gibberish. Doing Shakespeare in gibberish, you take out the thing I bring to you with it. It takes all of the trouble out of the remembering the teaching of the language, I tell you. That's the beautiful thing. <laughs> Please be careful with your makeup and costumes. Don't let the makeup come on costumes. Guys, you want the black and white show costume, then you take it that he doesn't want this one. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> and also the idea of hearts. Each character has their own kind of a heart. Aww. Like Van Gogh has a white a heart. Half black, half white. The play is starting soon. Party time! Time flies until it stands still. The curtains will soon rise. <laughs> <laughs> it starts kind of as a joke, you know, and to me, my favorite 10 minutes on stage ever. The, the darkness that we were looking for is completely there in the poem, and that gave it the final punch. 
Uh, yeah. And really, I think that brought the play together as, as a unit. That's powerful. Doing dance with you to performances. Yeah. Pay out in front of the audience. Kill the artists. Yes. There are no one to shoot and will. Bang, 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 bang! Yeah, it's powerful, isn't it? The power of play in theater to convey a message. Shakespeare's great take on, on uh, all human life, you know. Tomorrow, 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 it creeps up at its petty pace mm -hmm. till the last syllable of time. I mean, it's phenomenal. It's all our lives. It's just a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. I mean, wow. Are there better lines ever written about life, what life is? Wow. Now he understands Shakespeare because he did this play. Out! Out, brief candle! The life is nothing but a walking shadow. Full of sound and fury. Signifying nothing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. While the credits are rolling, let me share my thoughts. Okay. Wow. This is a masterpiece for someone to bring Shakespeare into the light where it is easy for people to digest and it's palatable. This is such an incredible, um, genius idea to retell the story in a way that today's people like time like in today's time we can we can understand it it is a bit like what charlie chaplin does because charlie chaplin he speaks to a vast majority of a vast audience regardless of what languages and backgrounds they understand him because he has transcended language through what he does, Charlie Chaplin, right? And this is another form of art. This is where he used theater and like um, just this, you know, clown to tell, retell the story in a way where people can receive it and understand it in today's context. And also in a way that's not as word heavy and it is through just the actions and the day-to-day -day layman terms and words that we use. So it is a brilliant piece of work. Um, and it also takes a lot of like great artists to bring this to life. Like all the actors and actresses there, every single one of them. Yeah, it is a work of, a work of art for sure. Um, you know, if I were to watch, to, to look at this, the title of this movie, Clowning with Shakespeare, I probably wouldn't click on it to watch it because I'd be like, oh my gosh, Shakespeare is gonna be kind of dry. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the theater, but like he mentioned earlier, it's a bit too draggy and long and it's hard to read through everything too. I learned it in school, I learned it in theater. I have this on my, inner arm as a quote but to sit there and to go through the entire um thing again it's really quite draggy so i wouldn't have watched this but then this has been such a surprise to me because i understand shakespeare a bit better now because of this theater and it just gave me a newfound way to enjoy Shakespeare in a different way, in a different technique. Um, so thank you so much 
for highlighting this to me. Um, I hope that everyone's going to be able to watch this and truly appreciate Shakespeare's work and what he's trying to convey through his messages. Um, his philosophy about life is just amazing. Anyways, I absolutely love this. Um, thank you so much, Movie Saints, for bringing this to my attention. I wouldn't have watched this, but I'm so glad that I did. Um, if you want to watch this too, do download it from Movie Saints. Um, it is such a brilliant production. Um, wow, they are all so, so bloody, brilliant, so talented um, to be able to take something dry um, into becoming something so entertaining and easy to understand. So thank you so much. Let me know in the comments down below if you have spotted anything that I missed out. And let me know what you think about this. Does this make you want to understand Shakespeare more? Do you want to watch more of this um, type of theater to understand literature? <laughs> It'll be so, so good. Um, like the video if you like it and subscribe if you haven't yet and click on the notification bell if you want to be notified when I next upload. Also, I have two other YouTube channels. One is on Harry Potter, the other is on mermaiding. So if you like magical things, do give me a follow. And I'm on Instagram too at petite underscore wonderlaster. So on Instagram, you can check out where I'm at, my travels, and come and say hello. Um, I hope that you're all doing well. And I'll see you hopefully in the next life. And take care, buddy. Bye.